Good evening, everyone. How are you? Happy Monday. Happy beginning of the week. How was the weekend? How was Hi, the weekend? teacher. How are you? Doing great. How was the weekend? How was the weekend? I am Daisy. <laughs> tired. You get a tired weekend. <laughs> All right, so let's get ready tonight, today, well, this week. It's going to be week, the, the so these seven more classes. Okay. Tenemos siete clases a partir de ahora, así que empieza el conteo, right? Ahora es cuando más le saco el jugo a las clases. Aprovecho al máximo, participo, porque tampoco sabemos cuántos días pueden pasar antes del siguiente, entonces no nos quedemos sin participar, ¿de acuerdo? So, for tonight, we're going to begin by checking the platform. Um, ¿Creería que algunos de ustedes lo llamaron ahora para chequearlo en la plataforma? No so sure, pero le vamos a revisar. Si me escuchan bien todos. Sí, eh, teacher. Ok. Sí, teacher. Ok, vamos entonces a ver lo de la plataforma. Por ser esta la semana, digamos la última semana, porque ya la otra solo tenemos dos clases, lunes y martes. Ya tendríamos, ya pasamos el midterm. El sábado ustedes tuvieron que haber terminado la, la unidad 3. Ya esta semana se quedan con la 4 y el examen final, right? Um, vamos a revisar las tareas. Las vamos a hacer juntos ahorita. Y la vamos a ir viendo, ¿ok? So, let's begin. Teacher, yo ya la hice. Solo estaba esperando el examen final. No sé si se puede hacer en esta semana. Sí, sí lo pueden hacer. Eh, yo cada sábado subo las notas de ustedes. Así que si lo pueden hacer, está perfecto. ¿Ok? Uh, okay. Y de todos modos, así ya solo se quedan con la clase y la práctica. Ya no tienen que estarse preocupando por llenar la plataforma, ¿verdad? ¿right? Entre más pronto lo llenen, creo que es mejor para ustedes. Porque se quitan eso encima. Okay, read the questions and choose the right WH word. Do I get a newspaper? Y me dice la respuesta at the shop. ¿Cuál sería? Where. Where. Exactly. ¿Cómo se lee entonces? Where do, Where I, do I get a newspaper? Where do I get? Exactly. Where do I get a newspaper? Number two. Does the game start when? on Sunday? When does when? the game start? When does when? the game start? Yes, correct. Number three, do you live here with my brother? Who? Who? Who do you, who? Who do you live with? with my brother? Who do you live here with? ¿Qué, qué está preguntando ahí? ¿Con quién vives? Uh. Ok, yes. ¿Qué les dije yo en particular con esta pregunta? Who with? ¿Qué, qué hay de particular con eso? Que se puede, este, esa es la forma informal y hay una forma formal. Exactly, that's one point. Acuérdense, entonces, who, todo lo que quiero preguntar, with, es la forma, digamos, informal. En realidad no es que sea informal, es que es lo, lo más común, ¿no? Pero si alguien está hablando con alguien del trabajo, alguien que es primera vez, entonces empezamos la pregunta con, el, el, con la preposición. Entonces, with whom do you live? Okay, just for you to begin with. Number four, do you, in your free time, I play the guitar? What? What? Exactly. What do you, ahí le falta el otro do. What do you do, Tendrick? It's like, in your free time, I play the guitar. Number five, does she go to school? By bus. Who? Who? Ay, no está who? ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? How. 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 Yes. How. How does she go to school? Correct. And then we go to the next one. Okay. Luego nos vamos a la siguiente. Tarea 2, tarea 2 sería esta. 
Y nos dice, unscramble the question. Vamos a desenredar. Eso sí me costó, <laughs> Yes, this one is more difficult. La, la misma plataforma nos advierte, escribanla correctamente. No se olvide de la mayúscula, de las puntuaciones <laughs> y de los mm -hmm. signos. All right. So this one would go. Y para esto se les voy a mostrar cómo la plataforma les está pidiendo que lo hagan. Si ustedes ya hicieron la tarea y no las y tienen el puntaje muy bajo, pueden retomarla y no se queden con el 20 o el 40, por favor. <ríe> Aprovechen acá y suban el promedio, ¿no? La primera sería, where do you go to school? Asegúrense que esta sea mayúscula, que le pongan el signo de interrogación al final. Ok. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Este, cuando dice que se puede mejorar el puntaje, por ejemplo, que yo haya escrito como dicen bien, pero al momento de dar a enviar, me haya, pues, me lo haya marcado mal porque no escribí algo correcto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Este, pero después la vuelvo a corregir y le voy a enviar de nuevo, entonces ahí es en la corrección. Sí, ahí les actualiza la plataforma a ustedes. Eh, había un par de personas que tenían literalmente 20 de nota de promedio en la tarea 1 y 2, las en la primera semana, pero realmente no habíamos visto los temas ni nada. Ya después de que lo vimos, este sábado que pasó, les revisé las notas y ya habían subido. O sea, las volvieron a hacer y ya las subieron y el puntaje les mejoró. Entonces sí lo pueden retomar, le van a enviar de nuevo y se los va a actualizar. ¿Ok? Then we have number two, que sería la pregunta, what do you do? Right? Acuérdense que el primero es el auxiliary, el segundo es el action. ¿Qué haces? ¿A qué te dedicas? What do you do? Right? Number three, where does John come from? De donde viene John? Where does John come from? Okay. De nuevo nos fijamos, mayúscula, signo de interrogación, right? Number four nos decía, where do you play tennis? Where do you play tennis? Y esta es la estructura que nosotros ya tenemos anotada. WH question. Auxiliary, subject, verb, complement, right? And number five, how do they get to work? How do they get to work? ¿Cómo llegan al trabajo? ¿Cómo van al trabajo, right? Auxil uh, WH, auxiliary, subject, verb, right? Complement. Ya la puedo quitar esa parte, ya la puedo mover, ya la tienen, los que no la han completado. Okay, then we're going to number 13. We have to read the questions about time. Check the answers and choose the best one, okay? So, first one, what time is it? ¿Qué opción sería la mejor según ustedes? It's 8.45. Exactly, por descarte, vamos. Si son las 45, no puede ser en punto, okay? no puede ser o'clock, son las horas eh, par. Um, it's at 8.45, el at, sería, si estuviera diciendo es a las, como que un evento empieza a las tal horas, ahí sí, pero no es esa la pregunta, right? So it would be this one. Number two, what time does the class start? It is it start at, at 6.00. Six. At 6 o'clock, correct. Or at 6, all right. Y aquí se entra lo que les mencionaba. Si me preguntan a qué hora es, what time does this start? It starts at. Siempre que quiero decir alas o alas, es at, la preposición. Con tiempo, right? Then we're going with number three. What time do you arrive at work? What time do you arrive at work? At about 8.30? In about 8.30? At about 8.30 o'clock. ¿Qué opinan ustedes? La primera. Number at one. About. Exactly, correct. And de nuevo, esta proposición no contiene por descarte. At, a, at about o'clock, no puede ir junto por descarte, me queda esto. Right? At about 8.30. Que es como diciendo alrededor de las 8.30. A eso de las 8.30. Right? 
Number four. At what time does the academy close? Usually around 8 p.m. Okay. Usually around 8 p.m. No puede ser en 8 p.m. y no puede ser on. En este caso, puedo utilizarlo sin la protección, right? Number five. What time do you usually go to bed? What time do you usually go to bed? At about, At about 10, 10 Correct. At about 10.45. La enviar y ya tienen ustedes su puntaje corregido. Okay? Then, tarea número 14. Choose between the prepositions of time in on or at okay the class is at the class is at 9 a.m correct number two she left london on march. La primera semana, yes on march 4th right she left london on march 4th Si solo estuviéramos mencionando el mes de marzo, sería in March. Pero como es una fecha completa, ocupamos on. All right. Number three. I had a party. In, in my on, birthday. On my birthday. Es lo mismo que acá arriba, es una fecha específica, right? No es fecha y mes, pero es una fecha importante, digamos. Una fecha tal cual, la fecha de mi cumpleaños, right? Number four, I graduated from university in, in. exactly in 2001 or 2001, como ustedes quieran decir. Number five, she got married. Le acabo de decir esto. Um, September. No, se la acabo de dejar. In. Yes. In. In. Le dije, si solo es el mes, es in. Si solo es, si va mes y fecha, es on, right? This is solo el mes, in September. Okay? You hit send, le dan enviar, y con eso ustedes ya tendrían completada su tarea de la semana 3. Creería que, ah, no, no, queda una más. Sí. Okay. She serves food. Nos dice, where do they work? Decide where does each person work. She serves food. Ella sirve comida. Restaurant. Correct. Mm -hmm. They build houses. Construction site. Construction ship, ship, site. 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 Construction <laughs> site. Exactly. Construction site. Number three. She teaches English. School. Exactly. School. She plays instruments. Concert, Concert hall. Of... hall. Concert mm -hmm. hall. Correct. Concert hall. Como los dulces holes. Sonaba como una oh. holes. <laughs> Number five. They love animals. Veterinarian. Veterinarian. Politicians cuando están en campaña, pero en general veterinarian. <laughs> and you hit send and there you are, right? Con eso ustedes ya habrían completado su tarea. Teacher, fíjese que volví yeah. a hacer la, la que nos dijo, la que le dije yo que me había costado, pero siempre me las tira mal. La número 12. Sí. Vamos a ver. Y ya, le, ya la, le tomé foto y la puse igual y me las tira mal. De verdad. Uh -huh. Vamos a ir. Oh, no sé si será rápido. porque la plataforma, me, no sé, estará saturada quizás. Mm, no, si está saturada no la deja entrar. En todo caso, la, le saca la sesión. Pero vamos a ver acá. Si lo ponemos tal cual, si siempre nos da error. No. No a mí me daba, teacher, a mí me daba ese error cuando no se le ponía el signo, el, el signo de interrogación. No, pero mm. ya lo puse. Uh, y está en mayúscula la primera. Sí, la, primer, eh, la primera. ¿Doble? Solo la primera letra. Uh -huh. Ajá, solo la primera letra y igual me lo tiro así. No sé qué será. El punto también. No les ha dejado más espacio de lo necesario entre ninguna. Porque hasta por eso se ve que esta cosa. Sí. Si sí. dejó un espacio de más o está pegado, ajá, no se lo va a aceptar. No. 
pero quizás lo voy a intentar hacer otro, otro rato, tal vez así me lo sube. Yes, uh, ajá, asegúrese de que esté tal cual. Eh, bueno, igual ahí las tiene para que pueda ver. Y asegúrese de los espacios y todo, y que no hayan más mayúsculas que eso, lo que está el, la del inicio y el signo de interrogación al final. Y me deja saber. Porque, ajá, si, si a los demás también les pasa, entonces es como glitch de la plataforma. Pero si no, es algo que estamos, que nos falta quizás. ¿Ok? So, right. so, con eso nosotros ya estaríamos cubriendo la sección 3. Tenemos esta semana para completar la sección 4. Idealmente para el sábado ya la tendrían que tener ustedes completada la sección 4. Así lunes y martes solo vienen a practicar y al examen final. Right? So, Let's begin. Give me one more. I'm going to share the screen. I'm going to compartir the screen. Okay. Here. So we have an exercise in here, and for this one, you have to spell. Remember the first classes we were spelling. La primera clase estábamos deletreando, right? Vamos a hacer un repaso de eso. Today is Monday. Tomorrow will be. No necesito que me digan el día. Necesito que lo deletreen. Today is Monday. Tomorrow will be T. T U E S D A Y. Exactly like that. Correct. So tenemos 10 más. We need 10 volunteers. So como 10 voluntarios, levantamos la manita. Le, um, yeah, we have 10. We need 10 volunteers. One, two, three. Yeah. 10 volunteers. Levanten la mano para irles asignando. Casi que tenemos una para cada uno de los que estamos conectados ahorita. So let's see. Um, iniciamos con Edwin. Usted va a tener la número 2. Vladimir, número 3. Judith, number 4. Andrés, number 5. Veamos dónde están los demás. Quedan 5 todavía. Let's see. Susana, numbers. Bueno, habíamos empezado con Andrés. Usted es la número 5, ¿verdad? Ok. Susana, number 6. Amilcar, number 7. Carmen Yolanda, number 8. Silvia, number 9. No hay number 9, hasta el number 8 llegamos. Entonces llegamos hasta ahí con Carmen Yolanda, hasta el number 8. No se preocupen que hay más ejercicios. Solo que no lo pude copiar. Espérenme, que esta cosa se volvió. Este no es, este no es. Este es. Yes, this one is. <laughs> this is the right one. Okay. Carmen llegó, usted era el número 8, ¿verdad? Sí, la número 8. Ok, es... Silvia, Silvia, la número 9, por favor. Silvia, la número 9. Ocupo dos voluntarios más para la 10 y la 11. Veamos. Let's see. Let's, empecemos con esto primero entonces. Number two, Edwin, please. There are seven days in one of these W E E K week. Correct. There are seven days in one of this. W E E K. We're talking about the week. Very good. Number three, Vladimir. Please. There are 60 of tests in a hour, minute. Mm -hmm. M I N U G E S. Very good. Thank you. Number four, please, Judith. Hola. Number four, Judith. Uh, yeah. I can't, I no entendí la indicación. Each year va a leer la oración y luego va a deletrear la palabra que es la respuesta. Completarla. Y tiene que deletrearla. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, cada año mm -hmm. tiene 12 de estos. Entonces, ¿qué ah. palabra es? Y va ah, a yeah. Ajá. Ajá. Okay. If Number four. Here has 12 of these M. Moms, ajá, ¿cómo la letrea? N O N O U E S. Mm. 
month mm -hmm. by a month as M O N T H S T H S T H S al final. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Judith. Number five, Andres, please. There are no. 60 of there Number are six 50, is Susana. Uh -huh. there are 50. Sí, pero ahorita vamos en la 5, Susana. Andrés, please. Que soy la 6 yo entonces. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yes. Ah, bye. Uh -huh. Ajá. There are 60 of these in a minute. C E S S E S E C O N D S. ¿Qué es? Es. Es y no, pero sí. ¿cuál es la palabra? Ah, uh, seconds. Yes, correct, seconds. Very good, thank you. Number six, Susana, please. Uh, this is the month after July. July. Uh, July. Uh -huh. mm. This the is month antes, the month the after. Month after. Ah, this is the month junio. after July. Después de julio, the month after July. Sería, veremos, Jake, you, and... No, el que va a letrar es el que va después de julio. Dice, este es el mes después de julio. ¿Después de julio? ¿Es junio? No, eso es antes, después de julio. Termina julio, el Mayo. que sigue. Eso es antes, antes. Estamos hablando después. ¿sí? Pues, Agosto. Correct. Ah, lo siento. Estaba bien equivocada. Hubo un lapso. Entonces sería. Veamos. Ajá. A, G, A, U, Q. Lo voy a poner aquí. Ajá. Va. A, G, o, no, no es agu, es, es au. Agu es agu. Es agu. Ajá. E. U. Au. U. Uh -huh. Es. U. S. T. Ok, se escribe a u. Sería A. U. U. G. G. Ajá. U S T. Ajá, no lo decimos U, Susana, decimos U. U. <laughs> Correct. U. Yes. U S T. August. Yes. Y a eso le decimos August. Que es el que va justo después de July. August. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank, thank you. We'll go with number seven, please. Welcome. Uh, 12. 12 o'clock at night. Is Uh, M I D N I G A T. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo sería? Midnight. Correct. 12 o'clock at night is midnight. Very good. Number eight, please. Okay, teacher. This is a weekend day. Mm -hmm. Is um, S A U D A G. Saturday. Ah, pero ahí le faltan varias letras. <ríe> De nuevo, vamos bien, empezamos bien. S, A. S, A, T, C, U, R, R, A, R, D, A, G. Guay. Saturday. Este guay, Yolanda. G, no es G. No, guay. Why? 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 La Y de why? Yes. Why? Uh -huh. Saturday. Yes. Saturday. Correct. Thank you. Number nine, Silvia. Yes. There are one hundred of them in a century. Uh -huh. uh, July. E R A. Perdón. R S. Years, que sería why, year, why, why, uh -huh. y, a, uh -huh. r, s. Correct, years. In a century, there are a hundred years. Very good, year. Silvia, thank you. Yes. Number 10, para el quien la quiera. Number 10, it can tell what? you 
the day and date. Te puede dar la fecha y el día. Andrés, please. Mm. It can tell you the day and the date. The day and date. Mm -hmm. C A R E N D I A R. ¿Qué sería? Calendar. Calendar. Correct. Thank you. And number 11, Jennifer, please. There are 24 of these in a day. H O U R S. Correct. Hours. hours, yes, hours. Son igual que el plural para posesivo nosotros. Hours. Son exactamente igual. Hours. There are 24 of these ones in a day, right? Ok, antes de seguir, lo voy a pasar lista. Porque no vaya a ser. <laughs> And I forget. Please be ready. Vamos a cargarle la lista. Ya estamos bien. <laughs> Tenemos a Carmen Yolanda Campos. Present, Miss. Thank you. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Thank you. Vamos con Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present teacher. Thank you. Eric Mauricio Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Evelyn Patricia Ramirez. Here. Thank you. Franklin Eliseo Molina. Vamos con Jennifer Guadalupe Elías. Present teacher. Thank you. José Andrés Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. José Calixto Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Roberto Iraeta. Present teacher. Thank you, Karina Xiomara Vides. Present. Thank you, Kevin Alexis Torres. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you, Noel Amilcar Arias. Raúl Edgardo Sarceño. Yo tenía el micrófono apagado, lo siento. ¿Quién, ¿Quién me dijo eso? Amilcar. Amilcar, Amilcar. No, el Amilcar, aquí está. <ríe> Vaya, gracias. Raúl Edgardo Cerceño, ya me dijo presente, ¿verdad? Sí. Thank you. Ruth Judith Cepeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Silvia Marina Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Susana Andrea Urbina. Present teacher. Thank you. Tania Ivette Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Y Vladimir Alejandro García. I'm here. <clears throat> Perfect. Thank you. Okay, we're going to continue. Just a moment. Okay. So we have some questions for you in here. So we have eight questions, right? What is your favorite time of the day and why? Okay, so these ones, you're going to answer them individually, right? They are eight questions. They are very personal, conversational questions. The idea is that you answer all of them, right? La idea es que ustedes las contesten todas con su información, con su versión, right? So for this one, I'm going to give you guys 10 to 12 minutes. Le voy a dar de 10 a 12 minutos. Para esto nos, nos quedamos acá en la sesión, nos vamos a las salas, es individual. Cada uno de ustedes contesta, what is your favorite time of the day and why? Very important. La idea de estas es que se les da el tiempo para que lo escriban, para que a la hora de hablarlos sea más fácil y suene conversacional, right? ¿Qué tipo de respuesta buscamos? For example, what is your favorite time of the day and why? Well, my favorite time of the day is the lunch time <laughs> because, yes, yes, because I don't have to cook the lunch in my house, <laughs> all right? Also, because I don't have to cook, I can use that hour to take a nap and I can sleep for one hour in the middle of the day. <laughs> so that is my favorite time of the day and that is the reason why, okay? So, ese tipo de respuesta buscamos. Que ustedes suenen que están contándome algo, que, que están platicándome y no respuestas como oraciones aisladas, no, right? 
Así que se le va a dar de 10 a 12 minutos. Son las 8 y 33, a las y 43. Revisamos cómo van. Si se ocupa más tiempo, se lo damos. No hay ningún problema. All right. So you can start answering your questions. Traten de mencionar tantos detalles como puedan. La idea es que son las que están platicando. Right. So you have 10 minutes starting right now. Si necesitan ayuda con vocabulario, verbo, gramática, me dejan saber. Estoy acá.
If anyone is wondering, si alguien se pregunta, wristwatch es el reloj que ocupamos en la, en la, en la muñeca, right? Wristwatch. Y la pregunta, independientemente si es yes or no, sería why or why not. The chair, yes? I have a question. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se dice reven como reventar pólvora? Reventar pólvora. O como reventar cuestiones. Light the fireworks. Light, fireworks. Oh, light, yeah. um, fireworks. El, el verbo sería light. 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 Fireworks. Light. Fireworks. Uh -huh. fireworks. Ahorita okay. se lo pongo Thanks. en el chat. Light okay, the fireworks. Uh -huh. Igual que subirse a las ruedas, es ride the rides. Parece chiste, pero sí es ride the rides. <laughs> It's 8.43 already. I'm going to give you guys um, three more, four more minutes. Le voy a dar hasta las 48, le voy a dar cinco minutos más, all right? So you can complete your ideas and sentences. ¿Cómo diría entre? Entre la 1 y la 2. Between. Ok. Between.
teacher. Yes. ¿Hasta qué tarea tenemos que tener? Um, hasta, hasta, hasta ahora lunes ya tendrían que usar la 3. La tarea, la semana 3. Y de acá hasta el sábado, la 4. Uh -huh. Hasta la tarea 20 sería. Exacto. De la semana 3. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Así lunes y martes pueden quedarse ya solo con el final examen. Ok. Uh -huh. Very good. Daniel, do you have a question or are you ready? ¿O ya estamos listos? Creo que ya estoy listo. Perfect. Let's hear you then. Lo escuchamos. Number one. What is your favorite time of the day and why, Daniel? My favorite time is when I get off work at 4.13 p.m. Why? Why? Why is that your favorite time of the day? Ernie no la hice, mi. Ay, Daniel, esto no está listo, Bye. joven. <ríe> Veamos, trata de improvisar. Why is that your favorite time? ¿Por qué es su hora favorita del día? Porque salgo a las 4.30. <ríe> ah, pues voy a decir, because I finish my work at because that time. Because I finish my work. Quiero ver. Y... And be with my family. To, to see my family. Para ver a mi familia. Yes. Uh, to see my family. Pero igual creo que no estoy listo porque me está diciendo que le ponga un y por qué. Ajá, el why. Ahí está. Todas las que tienen why tienen que contestarse el por qué. Ok, Daniel. Entonces le vamos a dar tiempo. Escuchemos a Vladimir, please. Mm -hmm. Well, um, my favorite time of the day, usually around 6 and 6.30, because it's the time to finish my work. Um, my favorite day in the week is Saturday, because in the morning I go to the university. In the afternoon I go, I go out with my friend or partner of the work. And nice. In the yes. question number three. Okay. Aunque, aunque, aunque en la dos, la está preguntando, which day of the week do you hate most? El que no, más favorite. odia. El que uh, más odia. Uh -huh. uh, like in my case, I hate Monday. Saturdays. <laughs> you hate Mondays. Why in do you hate Mondays? I hate Monday because <laughs> begin the week. No, que va a <laughs> Okay, number three, Vladimir. Do you wear a wrist a wrist watch? Um, no, because it's uncomfortable for me. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable for me. Yeah, the same happens to me. It sweats. Me suda la muñeca, so I never use it. Yes, me too. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable. That's true. Okay, doesn't yeah. matter if it's expensive. No importa si es caro. Mismo. <laughs> doesn't matter. Very good. Question number four, Blaine. Which uh, month is the best month of the year for you? My favorite month of the year uh, is December, because. Okay. Usually I go out with my friend and addition, it's Christmas and New Year. Mm, very good. What about number five? What time do you usually get up in the mornings? I get up at 5.30 because I begin to work at 8 o'clock. And actually, I don't get an hour of sleep. All right, neither do I. I always say I'm going to sleep eight hours. I never sleep eight hours. <laughs> Number six, how many days are there in a year? In a year, there are uh, 365 days. Correct. What do you like to do on weekends? Actually, during the weekends, I love to sleep and watch series. Also, I like to go out with my family. Perfect. And what time do you usually eat lunch? My lunch time is uh, 1 p.m. All right, very good. So, thank you for your answers. They were very, they were very conversational, Vladimir. 
And I want you guys, quiero que cada uno de ustedes se vaya midiendo cómo estaba dando respuestas al principio del módulo y cómo están contestando ya ahora, que suena mucho más conversacional, right? Very good job, Vladimir. So, next, usted le va a hacer esas mismas preguntas, Vladimir, a Milka. Y él se las va a ir contestando a usted, ¿ok? Are you ready, Milka? Yeah. Ok. Uh, Milka, what is your favorite time of the day and why? Um, my favorite time I, when I, I am at the gym and because and the, and I am at the gym and I am relaxing. Um, which day of the week do you hate most and why? Oh. It's, it's Monday because the head I get up and early. Okay. Uh, do you wear a wristwatch? Why? Yes, I do. Uh, I like to uh, use the washing. I use uh, only for fashion. Okay. Um, which month is the best month of the year? And why? Um, my best month is August because it's the month that I had many vacations for dinner for my first day. Okay. Uh, what time do you usually get up in the mornings? Do you get to now sleep? I usually get up uh, according to sleep. Set, set, I am, and uh, maybe uh, uh, I get this meeting and. Uh, how many days are there in a year? There are 365 300, uh, days. Okay, um, what do you like to do on weekends? Um, I like the, the Sunday, uh, I go to the beach. Um, what time do you usually eat lunch? Um, I usually get, get my lunch and at 12 a.m. Okay, thanks. 12 a.m. It's, it's midnight. 12 a.m. is la madrugada. <laughs> so that I'm would sorry. be 12 p.m. <laughs> very good, Vladimir. Thank you. Amilka, very good job. Your, your answers were to the point. But they were conversational, which is what we're looking for. Que lo que estamos buscando, que suenen conversacionales, right? Que ya no sean como una línea, dos líneas. All right, so very good job, Amilcar. Please, usted le va a hacer las preguntas a Andrés Martínez, por favor, Amilcar. Okay. Andrés, what is your favorite time of the day? Well, uh, Eric, I think that my favorite time in the in the of the day is when I arrive to my house after my job because I can see my family and hey, I can wait, I, know, I, I don't see the, the wife. Wait. <laughs> what? What? Solo, se la está contestando de un solo, Milcar. Ah, ok. Sí. No, okay. Me, no, no sé por qué. Es una, okay. es de un solo. Uh, because... Uh, <laughs> Se lo contesto un solo, ya. Yeah. Yeah, ahora sí, ya. Yeah. Ok, ok. Because I can see my family, I can receive my English class, and I can watch, uh, I don't know, sometime in YouTube. Ok. Ok. Uh, which day of the week do you have hate most? Hate. Hate most. I, I think that the day of I hate hate in the, in the week is uh, on Monday. Why? Because it's a lot of traffic in highway Los Chorros and sometimes oh, yeah. I arrive <laughs> oh, late man. to my house. Yeah, I know, I know. 
Yeah. That makes sense. Eso hace sentido, yeah. And do you okay. wear a wish watch? No, I don't really like wish. Uh, you Why wear wish watch because I use a, a smartwatch because I can watch my message of WhatsApp and sometimes I can receive my calls in my smartwatch. Okay, which month is the best for the year? I think that the best month of the year is December because, right. because I can share with all, all my family. I can ride fireworks and I can eat, eat break or uh, with chicken. Okay. Uh, what time do you usually get up in the morning? Oh, that's, uh, uh, I get up, I get up, I get up in the, I get up in the mornings at 4 a.m. Do you get a month sleep? Is correct a month? Enough. Sería enough. enough. Uh -huh. enough, como, como F, enough enough huh? do you get enough sleep i i think i i think not because it is very early that i have to wake up okay and how many days are uh, in the year uh, uh, i know that i'm sure that are there are uh, 300 65 days in a year. Mm. Okay. What do you like uh, to do on, on weekends? Well, I like to do on weekends. And uh, the, the thing that I like to do on weekends are um, <clears throat> watch what you do in the TV, watch horror movies, um, um, go to the supermarket, and um, uh, play free fire with my wife. Okay. <laughs> cool. What time do you usually eat lunch? Well, I eat my lunch usually at 12 o'clock. And that is that is the good because my company gives me the lunch free. So I don't have to uh, spend my money. Thank hey, you, Andres, that's for, really nice. For the Thank you, Milcar. Very good job. Thank you, Andrés. Quiero que sepan que este tipo de interacción que están haciendo ahorita de múltiples preguntas y que cada respuesta suena y que están platicando de verdad. Es como, así funciona una entrevista de trabajo en inglés. Así justamente va el, la primera entrevista. Las demás son más, son, va dependiendo. Pero la primera entrevista de un trabajo en inglés funciona justamente así. Right? Y lo que busca el entrevistador es medirles el nivel de inglés. Que tanto va... Sí. Y no basta Pero, solo con hablar inglés, contestar las, las preguntas exactas. La confianza que la persona demuestra al hablar, la conversacionalidad que tiene, la entonación que ocupa. Porque lo, quiere, lo que queremos es dejarnos que se pueda comunicar. No solo que sepa contestar, que se comunique en inglés. Right? So this is a very good practice for you guys. Esta es una muy buena práctica para ustedes. Thank you, Milcar, for the questionaries. Andrés, usted le va a hacer las preguntas a Edwin Pineda en este momento, por favor. Okay, teacher. Edwin, what is your favorite time of the day? My favorite time of the day is when I get off to work because I'm going home in my bike and I can enjoy the sunset in the beach and then come home to rest and have a dinner with my family. That's good. And um, which day of the week do you hate most? The day I hate most is the Monday. Why? Because I don't want to wake up early to go back to work. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Do you wear a wristwatch? No, I don't. Why? Because, Why in my, because in my work, I cannot use any type of accessories for safety. Okay. Okay. Which month? Is the best month of the year? The best month of the year for me is August. Why? Because <clears throat> it is the month in which my birthday is. And <laughs> I also receive my annual vacations. 
Okay. What time do you usually get up in the morning? I usually get up at 4.30 p.m. Right. And I feel do you like... Get... Okay. Um, do you get enough sleep? I feel like I sleep enough. Okay. How many days are there in a year? There are <clears throat> 365 days. Okay. What do you like to do on weekends? I like to watch anime, rest, and go to walk to the beach. <laughs> That's good. And what time do you usually eat lunch? I usually eat it around 11.30. My lunch time is always from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Oh, that's two, good. Hours, two hours. Two hours of lunch. <laughs> good. Okay. That's so cool. <laughs> nice. Thank you very much. Andres, thank you for the questions. Edwin, very good job answering and making it sound like you're having a conversation, right? Very important. And I like that you guys are using the correct grammar. La mayoría de los que han contestado ahorita han seguido cabal la estructura gramatical en sus respuestas, así que eso es muy buena señal de que vamos avanzando, amigos. <laughs> Very good job. Edwin, usted va a hacer las preguntas ahora a Susana Andrea, por favor. Ok. Susana, what is, your, what is your favorite time of the day? My favorite time of the day is that, that dinner because I have time to watch the novel or the series with my handsome and I enjoy watching my son play. Okay. Which day of the week do you hate most? In my opinion, the day of the weekend do you hate most in the Monday? No, come on. Is the Monday because I go to work early. Early, do you, perdón. Do you wear a wristwatch? Yes, I do. I have a smartwatch because my dad have is the knee for my part for my part beer come on. Ay, cumpleaños, Friday, birthday. Me olvidó cómo se dice. Birthday. Birthday, yes. What time do you usually get up in the morning? I don't me salté un. Sí. <laughs> Which month is the best month of the year? The best month of the years is January because it's my birthday and one day before my birthday my son is the birthday he, I full team the 25 and my son 24 o sea que él nace un día antes que mi cumpleaños <laughs> Super cerca. <laughs> es que me lo habían dejado para el mismo día, pero no, se vino un that is, that is economically not convenient. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's been doble please. cumpleaños. <laughs> What time do you usually get up in the morning? In the morning, I have up in 5 a.m. because I make break up for my homesan. Say, uh, take a shower and get rid. Do you get enough of sleep? What? Do you get enough of sleep? Ah, no esa otra pregunta no la hice. <laughs> lo siento, solo hice una. <laughs> Pero eso es como lo que usted considere. Si, su, si duerme lo suficiente, do you get enough of sleep or not? Yes. Dichos. Yes, I have. <laughs> I... Yes, I do. Yes, do. I do. Mm -hmm. Así dejémosla mejor. <laughs> <laughs> y puede decir algo como, por ejemplo, yes, I do. I sleep six hours, eight hours. Es que eso iba a decir. Yes, mm -hmm. I do. I have um, eight hours. Mm -hmm. I sleep eight hours. 
Yes. Por lo general en, en, en español nosotros usamos el verbo tener para un montón de cosas donde no aplica. Por ejemplo, edad. Yo tengo 33 años. En realidad los, los años no se tienen. Nosotros somos de tal edad, right? En mm -hmm. inglés, lo opuesto, en inglés no ocupamos el verbo have, que sería el verbo tener. No, no se ocupa para esas cosas. Entonces no diríamos oh, I have eh, eight hours of sleep. Porque es como si las poseyera, ¿verdad? Tengo las ocho horas de sueño. Entonces sería solo mejor decir, yo duermo ocho horas. I sleep eight hours. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So casi uh -huh. siempre nos da una pista el verbo que se ocupa en la pregunta. Podemos incorporarlo en la respuesta como para tip, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Next one. How many days are there in a year? They are 20 under 55 years. 55 days. What do you like to do on weekends? Do I go clean cleaning in my house, change the party? I go for the lunch with my family. I go to the supermarket and in the night I go to the park. What time do you usually eat lunch? Usually I eat at 1.30 p.m. because at that time I have home. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Edwin, for the questions. Susana, very good job with the conversations. It sounded like you were having a conversation like that. Solo como tip, y eso solo es como tip realmente. Cuando escuche un verbo en la pregunta, casi siempre lo puede incorporar en la respuesta. Por si, por si a la hora de contestar tiene dudas que usar, el mismo de la pregunta le sirve en la respuesta. All right? Very good, thank you. Susana, usted le hace las preguntas a Patricia Ramírez, por favor. ¿Está lista, Patricia? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Ok. What is your favorite time of the day? My favorite time of the day is um, is when uh, I get off work. Susana, second question, please. Es que no había activado otra vez el micrófono. <risa> Lo siento. Which yeah. day of the week do you hate most? Why? <risa> Repeat, please. Which day of the week do you hate most? The day I hate the most is Monday because it is the day the work we can start. Do you wear a witch watch? Solo son yes. letters. Wrist watch. Uh -huh. Wrist watch? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, because I think they give a spell. Good answer. <laughs> Which month is the best month of the years? Is in January, because it's my birthday. What time do you usually get up in the mornings? I get up in the morning at the 6 a.m. I go to the work. Do you get enough, enough sleep? Um, I don't, I don't get enough, enough sleep because I check my social network at the night. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> How many days are there in a year? Has three hundred sixty-five days. What do you like to own? When, when on weekend, weekend, on weekends, 
I like to go to the movies or eat in a restaurant. One time do you usually eat lunch? Every day eat at 12 in the comfort of my home. <laughs> That's really cool, Patricia. Thank you, Susana, for the questions. Thank you, Patricia. The answers were very conversational. Si se fijaron, las respuestas de Patricia eran bien, bien cortas, pero las hacía que sonara como una conversación, la ponía en tonación y eran fluidas. So that's the whole point, right? It's a very good job, Patricia. Very good job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Antes de seguir, vamos a pasar la lista por segunda vez esta noche. Let me check. Please be ready. Tenemos a Carmen Yolanda Campos. Present. Thank you. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Here. Thank you. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present. Thank you. Eric Mauricio Cruz. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Patricia Ramirez. Here. Thank you. Franklin Eliseo Molina. Thank you. Jennifer Guadalupe Elías. Present. Thank you, Jose Andres Martinez. Present. Thank you, Jose Calixto Diaz. Jose Roberto Iraeta. Present. Thank you, Karina Xiomara Vides. Kevin Alexis Torres. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Noel Amilcar Arias. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Raúl Edgardo Sarceño. Present. Thank you, Ruth Judith Cepeda. Present, teacher. Thank you, Silvia Marina Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you, Susana Andrea Urbina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Tati, ah, no, Tania Ibet Martínez. Present. Thank you, Vladimir Alejandro García. Present. Thank you, let me load the presentation. Okay, we're gonna go to the student's manual on page 32 to 35. Bear with me for a moment. Nos vamos a pasar el manual. And we're gonna go page 32. Just a moment. Page 30. So this one, we're just going to give it a few seconds to load. So let me put it on the car. Okay, so we're gonna begin on page 32, right? We have to create questions with the words provided in exercise number five, okay? Why we, why he have a meeting, okay? How would you make it a question? ¿Cómo lo haría una pregunta? Tenemos el he, lo que nos dice que esto va a ser tercera persona. ¿Cómo lo organizarían ustedes? ¿Qué le falta o qué le quitan? Why does he have a meeting? Why does he have a meeting? Exactly. Auxiliary third person he does. Why does he have a meeting? Very good. Number two. Where she process the payments. Volvemos. Third person she. ¿Qué auxiliar nos falta entonces? Does. Does. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Where does she processed the payments. Exactly, like that, right. Number three, what Ingrid do on Wednesdays? Seguimos hablando de tercera persona, el verbo hacer. What does, perdón, perdón. Edwin? What does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? 
Exactly. First one goes as an auxiliary. Y este no cambia porque es el verbo hacer. Y como ya tenemos el auxiliar en tercera persona, el verbo se queda en su forma base. What does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? Number four. When employee acquire, acquire, adquirir, the raw material, la materia prima. Third person también. When they employ. When, auxiliar. Do. When, tercera persona. I don't know. When does. Uh -huh. The employer. Uh -huh. In the. Raw material. I don't see because it's very little. It's very little, yeah. Like that? Yeah, and the material. The raw material, correct. <laughs> Thank you, very good. Just a minute. This one's big. Okay. So on exercise number six, page 32, we have a short conversation. Okay, so we need three volunteers. Ocupo tres voluntarios. Uno letra A, uno letra B, uno letra C. Okay, so Edwin, you will be letter A. Andres, letter B. Patricia, letter C. Let's read, please. What do you do on weekdays? Oh, well, I start to work at one o'clock to prepare the machines and wow when does your supervisor check all the things you do actually he checks once a month and what about you what do you do well very good Okay, this conversation is just a guide. Esta conversación chiquitita es una guía para lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Okay, so instructions. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer las instrucciones del número 6, por favor? Judith Cepeda, por favor. Leamos las instrucciones acá del 6. Uh, um, create, create a conversation with two partners about their daily activities at work. Then ask question for extra information about someone else duties. Exactly. So that is. Okay, okay, thank you. Van a entrar a las salas ahorita. Se les van a dar 10 minutos para que creen una conversación. Puede ser entre dos o tres, dependiendo de cómo queden los grupos. Y tienen que, tienen que hablar de sus cosas que hacen a diario. All right? Tal y como está acá. What do you do on weekdays? Puede ser on weekends también. Realmente la conversación es como libre la parte que ustedes lo quieran hacer, right? Pero la idea, si se fijan, es que van interactuando uno a uno. No es como que pregunta, una oración. Siguiente pregunta aislada, una respuesta aislada. No, es una conversación. Y hacen comentarios como, wow, when does your supervisor check, right? Ah, uh, actually he checks. No solo es pregunta respuesta, pregunta respuesta, sino que van haciendo a, an actual conversation con comentarios, con todo, ¿ok? ¿eh? So, vamos a abrir las salas ahorita. Van a tener 10 minutos inicialmente, luego regresamos, revisamos cómo vamos y de ahí partimos, ¿ok? So, remember, you have 10 minutes. Las salas están abiertas a partir de este momento. Pueden ingresar. Tienen que ingresar a la sala, por favor. Roberto, eh, su compañero Edwin está esperando en la sala 7. Karina, Daniel y Silvia la esperan en la sala 4. Kevin, la sala 2, están esperándolo.
Okay, we're back in the main session. Just let let me just check. Déjenme chequear con ustedes primero. Lograron completar las conversaciones o ocupan unos minutos más? Dos minutos. Minutos más. All right, les voy a dar cinco minutos porque dos minutos no me sale, así que les voy a dar cinco minutos. Tienen hasta las de treinta y cinco. En lo que porque en lo que entran todos se pasan los dos minutos, así que les voy a dar hasta las de treinta y cinco. Las salas mm -hmm. están abiertas de regreso, así que pueden ingresar ahorita. Eric, ¿en qué sala estaba usted? No, eh. eh, Patricia lo está esperando en la sala. No, eh, Gustavo. Eh, Patricia lo está esperando. Y a usted la esperan en la sala 5, Susana. No, eh, está por ahí. Susana, en la sala 5, le espera Ivette y Judith todavía. No, ¿eh? Estaba con Patricia, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, no sé por qué me sacó la... Ahorita, la uh -huh. a las seis. Ya puede ingresar. Uh -huh.
All right, now that we're back, we're going to begin. Let's hear room number one. Tenemos a Raúl Vides y a Eric Mauricio Cruz. Les escuchamos, por favor. Okay. What do you do a wet day, Raúl? I work in a factory to survive the production team. Excellent. It is saying thing is difficult to manage personal in the company. Yes, it is difficult. So you have to deal with different attitudes. What about you? What do you well, do on weekdays? Well, I always working every day and on the weekend to rest. As you, after working duty, the wet, what do you do on the weekend? I'm relaxed on the weekend. And I'm going to visit my family in Guatemala. Ah, okay. Do it, teacher. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't get set of hopes. <laughs> very good job. <laughs> Thank you. It did sound like a conversation and the questions were very personal, right? So, no era solo de haces esto, no sé, sino como, y es difícil, right? So, things like that. So, very good job, Eric and Raúl. Congratulations. Escuchamos a room number two ahora. Amilcar, Jennifer y... Sí, Amilcar y Jennifer, creo. Yes, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Jennifer, uh, when you take your vacation? I usually, uh, hi, I usually rest on December. Okay, what do you do on vacation? I visit my grandparents, they live in Sonsonate. Really? I have parents in Sonsonate too. My parents live in Cacao, in yours? My grandparents in La Delicias. If, what do you do on your vacation? I usually, I visit my family and my friends in Guatemala. If, how is the water in Guatemala? Oh, the water is so cool. And... Really, the city is very beautiful. Yeah, the city is, is nice and so big and so big. Okay, finish <laughs> teacher. <laughs> very good. That sounded like a good conversation. Sounded very natural. You both were very fluent. So very good job. Thank you for the effort, America Jennifer. Good job. Let's hear room number three right now. We have Andres Ramirez, no, Andres Martinez, Carmen Yolanda, y Vladimir Garcia, please. Los escuchamos. We try to do natural teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> okay. Hey, hello guys. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. And you? I'm really tired. Hello, Andres. Oh, hello, hello, Carmen, hello. <laughs> Uh, Carmen, how are you? Uh, very good. Uh, that's good. And Carmen, what do what do you do on weekends? Um, in the morning, uh, I was in the office. In the afternoon, I went uh, I went with my family uh, to have a lunch in the restaurant. Uh, which restaurant, uh, Carmen? Uh, uh, um, the restaurant is Mangiari Pizza. Uh, wow. We eat uh, Los Pizza. Los oh, that's pizza. The, oh, that's delicious. That's delicious. That's yeah. delicious. Okay. Uh, and you, Vladimir? Wow. I go with, uh, I go, uh, pardon. <laughs> oh, ya me trabé. Uh, what did what you, do you do on the weekend? Well, in my case, on uh, Saturday, I usually go to the university in the morning. 
And in the afternoon, I go out with my family to my grandparents' and my grandparents' house. And on Sunday, on, on, I get on Sunday. at eight a.m. Then I go to church, and in the afternoon, I go to play soccer with my brother. And finally, at night, we go out for dinner. Taco, pupusa, pizza, or any fat food. Oh, that's great, Lenny. Uh, I have a question. What is the name of the church that you that you go? Sorry. What is the name of the church? What is the name uh, of the church that you visit? Don Rua. Oh, that's great. That's what great. about you, Andres? What do you do in the weekend? Wow. Well, uh, I think that is. The, on Saturday is the only day that I can wake up late because on Monday to Friday, I have to wake up early for my job. So uh, in the morning, I cook with my wife the breakfast to my sister, pardon, to my daughter and son. Later, uh, um, I watch TV with my family and in the afternoon, uh, uh, we, or oh, oh, me and my family play video games with our cell, cell phones, like the different video games like uh, Rock Blocks, uh, Free Fire, and all more. Okay. How are you saying? Uh, do, uh, do many I things. I do like. No. Are you like are you yeah, like, I like fire? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I like good. free fire. Okay, and Sunday, what do you do on Sunday? On sometimes, on Sunday, I go to the shore and later I go to the mall. And at night, sometimes I go to the restaurant to eat pupusas with my family. Very delicious. So thanks, guys. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Finish. Very good. Good conversation. It was very natural. You guys were very fluent. Carmen, thank you. Also, you were very fluent. <laughs> Muy bien, Carmen. De eso se trata. Que me equivoque algo, pero sigo. Right. That's the point. Very good job. Let's hear room number four right now. Tenemos a Daniel Membreño y Silvia Marinera. Escuchamos. Daniel Membreño, Silvia Marina. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Um, hi, um, Silvia. I'm fine. A little sore, but it's nothing. And how oh, is it the family? Well, a little sink, but getting better. My brother has already recovered it. I imagine he is giving the flu. Yes, but and now and and how is your family? Well, we're over the flu. Oh, that's great. Nice to meet you, Silvia. Ah. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. God bless the family. See you again. Thank you, my, Daniel and Sylvia. My, my your family is be, 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 better. Get bless better. Too. Get bless, <laughs> better. Bless Thank you. you. All right. Parte importante de para que algo no suene natural o conversacional es que no nos tardemos tanto entre cada una de las interacciones, right? Si dejamos pasar mucho tiempo, o sea, segundos, se pierde la parte de la naturalidad de la conversación, pero en este caso realmente está, es como la primera vez que Silvia está como en full conversación así, así que está muy bien. Thank you for the effort, Daniel, Silvia. Very good job. The topic was also very natural. El tema también estuvo muy bien. No era solo de hacer esto, sí, 
como, no, right. So, era un tema bien natural. So, very good job, Daniel and Silvia. Thank you. Gracias. We're hearing room number five Thank now. You. Tenemos, tenemos a Yvette Martínez, Judith Cepeda y Susana Andrea. Les escuchamos. Uh, Hello, friend. How are you? How are you doing that work? What can you tell me? Hello, Susana. Uh, my job is to do voltage correction. I have um, five PM. What do you do, Judith? Hello, girls. It's not to me to do talking about. And no. Oh, your activities. Well, in my days in my job, sometimes it's easy because I enjoy. But I make pictures and visit different places and make reports. And what about yours? I go by bus to San Miguel Ingenio. I walk three kilometers to get to the school when I ride the start class. It's great. I are you exciting? ¿Cómo fue? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo fue, compañero? ¿Es difícil para ti hacer estas actividades todos los ¿Cómo? Es que no escucho bien, hay mucho muy. ¿Es difícil para ti hacer estas actividades todos los días? No escucho bien, lo siento. Susana, y no le pueden bajar el volumen a la tele ahí cerca para que se escuche. Mm, vaya, permítame. Me voy a mover un, un minuto o si quiere mejor así terminemos porque okay. tengo que ir a... Judith le estaba preguntando, ¿es difícil hacer tus actividades? No, in the activity is. Mm, se me olvidó la palabra fácil. <laughs> easy. 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 And the difficulty is. Mm, a enseñar. No sé cómo se dice, se me olvidó también. To teach. To teach, to read. In the children's of years old, this is this is difficult. Okay. Is the conversation finished or? Yes. Okay. Can I participate in this conversation? Las tres, o solo Judith y Susana. Es que, empe es que empezamos y en, en cuando la estábamos practicando se nos acabó el tiempo. Mm, ok, right. No hay problema. No hay problema. It, it sounded like a conversation, pero sí, sí sentí que no la habían practicado, como que no estaban listos. Así que para la próxima siempre yo les pregunto a ustedes, para que ustedes me digan si ocupan más tiempo para practicar o para preparar, ustedes aprovechen que es, es para ustedes, right? But thank you for the effort, it was good. Aparte, también la parte como del ruido externo, a veces no nos ayuda a escuchar y realmente quizás ya sí sabía lo que iba a decir, pero no lo escuchaba, right? Así que no se preocupen. Lo siento. Ese tipo de cosas pasan, es la vida real, así que no se preocupen, está muy bien. Thank you for the effort, ladies. Vamos a escuchar a room number six. Tenemos a Noé Gustavo y Patricia Ramírez. Ok. Noé, ¿estás allí? Yes. Ok, vaya. 
Hello, Noe. What do you do on weekend? Go, go for a walk with my fam, my family. And you? That's great. I go to the church every Sunday, and and then I go to have lunch. Wow! Congratulations! Congratulations! You you for visiting the church. Thank you. The truth is that it makes me feel good. It it was a pleasure to create you 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 he opened to see you some the pleasure is mine see you later goodbye Bye, thank Noe. you Noe, patricia <laughs> very good the conversation was really short la conversación fue bien cortita pero fue significativa en el aspecto de que era conversacional, right? Lo que estamos buscando ahorita es que ustedes puedan ya interactuar y que no sea tanto la parte leída, esa parte está bien, pero que no suene que estoy leyendo, right? So very good job, um, Noé, Patricia, thank you. Vamos con room number seven. Tenemos a Edwin Pineda y Roberto Iraeta. Nos escuchamos, por favor. Ok. Hey, Roberto, what do you do on weekends? On weekends, I usually work on half time, Saturday and half rest Sunday. Okay, that's good. And what do you do on Sunday when you have free all day? On Sunday, what I do the most is rest and spin, and spin time with my children. Edwin, what do you like the most in your free time? I like to watch anime, a lot of anime. What is your favorite anime series? My favorite one is One Piece. Why One Piece? Because it is a series full of many emotions, action, mystery, and I have been waiting it for more than 15 years. And what about you, Roberto? Do you have any favorite anime? Uh, yes, I do. My favorite anime series is Dragon Ball. Oh. I've, seen, I've seen her since it was a chill. Okay, that's cool. I like Dragon Ball too. Finish. Very good job. Thank you, guys. It sounded very natural. The topics also, right? Me encanta que todos los grupos hicieron un tema diferente, la adaptaron a sus versiones, so that's really cool. Y que aunque sí lo habían anotado, todos lo hicieron sonar como que era una conversación que ahorita acaba de surgir, right? So very good job, everyone. Thank you, Edwin. Thank you, Roberto. Okay, so moving forward, we have here this agenda, right? This is the agenda for Mrs. Robles. Mrs. Robles' agenda. It says, um, we need a person to read the calendar. Necesito una persona que lea la agenda, por favor. At 7.15, meeting with marketing department. Y así, va a leer todo lo que está ahí en la agenda. Veamos. Um, Edwin, please. 7.15, meeting with the marketing department. 8.30, video call with the supervisor from West Company. 9. Workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. 12. Workshop lunch. 145. Second part of the workshop. 5. 55. Send tomorrow's schedule to, to Miss Lopez, new secretary, and leave. Very good. Thank you. So let's answer the questions using the agenda for Mrs. Robles, okay? Number one, what time is the video call with the West Company? Yeah. Patricia, what time is the video call with the West Company? 
the call is at 8 30. <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> that's not a conversation Patricia <laughs> The call is at 8.30. Thank you. Number two, what time does the workshop with the research department start? Let's see. Volunteers, what time does the workshop with the research department start? Andres, please. The workshop with the research department start at 9 a.m. Thank you. Lisa, Patricia, comparaciones completas. <laughs> Yo que estoy bromeando, Patricia, pero sí, toda la oración. <laughs> Number three. What time does the company close? What time does the company close? Let's see. Silvia. Silvia Marina. What time does the company close? Um, the close. The company closes. The company closes. At uh, five fifty-five. At five fifty-five. All yes. right. All right. Very good. Thank you. So that's gonna be it for tonight, guys. Let me just check the list, the attendance one more time. Please be ready. Tenemos a Carmen Yolanda Campos. Present. Thank you. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Edwin Mauricio Pinedo. Present. Thank you. Eric Mauricio Cruz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Evelyn Patricia Ramirez. Here. Thank you. Franklin Eliseo Molina. Jennifer Guadalupe Elias. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Andres Martinez Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Calixto Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Roberto Iraeta. Present teacher. Thank you. Karina Xiomara Vides. Kevin Alexis Torres. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Noel Amilcar. Usted ya se quedó asesoría, Amilcar. No, teacher. Se puede quedar ahora. Ando un poco mal de salud. Ok. Raúl, ¿se puede quedar usted? Solo es si pueden, no es, no es obligación. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you. Um, Raúl Edgardo Sarceño. Present. Thank you. Ruth Judith Cepeda. Ruth Judith Cepeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Silvia Marina Hernandez. Present teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Susana Andrea Urbina. Present teacher. Thank you. Tania Ivette Martinez. Present teacher. Good, Good night. You. Good night. Vladimir Alejandro Garcia. I'm here. Thank you. Good night, Vladimir. Good all night. Right. That's going to be it for tonight, guys. Have a good night, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Teacher. teacher, yo solo tengo una pregunta. Si a mí me no. toca asesoría el miércoles, ¿será que la puedo cambiar? Sí. ¿Qué día la necesita, Susana? Es, uh, no sé si se puede mañana o el jueves. Sí, sí, sí se puede. Ah, um, bye. Bye, uh -huh. está bien, gracias entonces. All right. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Good night, Miss. Good night. See you tomorrow.